Pleasure of being joined by Lyman Cyborg good earlier on tonight. Let's go to Peter Neglia. Final elimination bout in the light heavyweight division. Three four minute rounds of mixed martial arts. 205 pound weight limit. The winner is in line for a title bout. The bout sponsor is Knockout Brand for all your martial arts wear. Introducing first from the blue corner, out of the Watt and Rhino Fight Team, trained by crew Phil Nurse and Brett Halavochik, wearing the black and red trunks, he weighed in at 206 pounds. From Tuckerton, New Jersey, welcome please, Brendan Barry. And the cross the ring, ready for battle from the red corner. Out of advanced martial arts, trained by Brian Katz, he is wearing the black shorts with the gold trim. Weighing in at 206 pounds from South Brunswick, New Jersey. Welcome please, Ricardo Romero. <laughs> Referee Mark Metheny controlling the action. Bring the fighters together. Garb, it's a matchup you've been waiting here, for guys. all night. Uh, this is a scary here. fight, and I know it's going to be fireworks. I demand a clean, fair fight. Touch gloves. We're going to come out fighting. A lot of intensity. I see Brendan hitting himself in the face already. Ha! <laughs> Never fun to look across the ring and see the guy willing to hit himself. Exactly. But Ricardo Romero, not going to back down. Get him, get him. Here we go. Nice low kick from Barrett. Maybe watched a little bit of that Matt Mikowski fight. Well, you know, Brendan's been training with Phil Nurse uh, on his Muay Thai. Now, obviously, Watt Jim, made famous by George St. Pierre's performances in the UFC. Crew Phil Nurse, a Muay Thai champion in his own right. Gonna see low kicks out of that gym for sure. Cardo just tried to take him down, but Brendan was able to shrug it off. One of the things I've always been impressed with, I've seen Ricardo Romero fight in every one of his ring of combat fights. Very comfortable throwing strikes. See him hip out of that takedown. Works the sprawl position, looking for that gator choke. Actually got an arm in guillotine working right now. Brendan Barrett extremely strong though, gonna be hard to finish that. See Barrett's got hand control under there. No danger from that choke right now. Well, Romero cinching it in tighter though. Putting pressure on the back of Barrett's head. Trying to use his hips to push Barrett's neck down against his forearm. Barrett's comfortable in there though, no stress. Breaking out of that position both, slowly. Yeah, they both have experience so they're not panicking at all. Nice high kick from Romero. Nice knee kick from Barrett. Didn't see if that landed flush or not. Romero went for the takedown. Barrett immediately responded with that knee. Nice high underhook from Romero. Gets the takedown. Barrett tries to transition straight to the triangle, but Romero shrugs it off the side mount. Working his north-south. Yeah, this is Romero's game where he gets you down and, and, uh, and is able to work some ground and pound on you has that base, we've talked about that throughout the night, that former wrestler working that underhook, trying to transition to the mount, but Barrett catches himself back in half guard. A Little bit safer position. Romero, very heavy. Same weight as Barrett, and I mean heavy by strong hips, able to keep his hips down low to the ground and make you carry his weight. Barrett getting back up again, base is out, right back to his feet. Barrett's in good shape for this fight. Uh, says he's in the best shape he's been in a while. You can see it in his gut, man. It, abs are defined. Always wondered about Romero, whether or not he might not be able to make that cut to 185. But had success at 205, hasn't felt the need to. Big guy though, very heavy. Heavy in his hips. Not heavy weight wise, but heavy Base. Romero looks pretty relaxed though in there and that really saves your, saves your gas. Saves a lot of energy. Nice takedown, knee tap from the double leg. 
But Barrett right back to his guard. Romero trying to push a knee past. Gets out uh, halfway past that guard. Barrett hips out. One thing about Barrett that I've seen in this fight, Romero often is able to work his takedowns and put his opponent against the cage, but Barrett, very savvy, a lot of experience, has been able to put himself in a position where he's got a little more wiggle room. Now you see Romero pushing through the mount, though. Spoke a little too soon there, Garv. Yeah, you know, that's what Brendan's trying to do is get away from that fence. 10 seconds left in that first round. Romero able to do enough there, I think, at the end of that round. 